Hey guys, how's it going? Big Two Six here today doing a video. In this video today, I'm gonna do a quick update. Uh, for those of you who don't know, over on BoostMobile.com, uh, Boost has gotten a new phone as of May 12th. Today is May 17th. My birthday was on the 15th. Um, the phone that I'm talking about is called the LG Volt. It is 179.99. It has a 4.7 inch QHD display. Um, Resolution is 540 over 960. It has a quad core 1.2 gigahertz uh, Snapdragon 400 processor, an Adreno 305 graphics processor, um, 3,000 milliamp hour battery, dual speakers, um, 8 megapixel camera on the back, 1.3 on the front. It's got the home button that uh, blinks for an LED. Um, it's actually, it actually looks like a very nice phone. Virgin Mobile is offering the exact same phone, but they're offering the white version instead of black. Uh, Boost Mobile is offering the black version. It's $179.99. They'll pick you up one. Um, it looks like a real nice phone. I currently have still my Moto G on Boost. For those of you who can't see that, right there is the Motorola symbol. Um, I have probably, um, I know I got this phone three months ago. And it has not given me any issues. However, I have a, I have two problems, two main issues. Actually, three main issues, but one of them is itty bitty. Number one being there's no SD card slot in the Motorola Moto G. Um, you only get eight gigs of memory, but you only get like 5.52 available to the user, and you cannot expand that. You get cloud storage, but I have no fucking idea how to use it. Sorry, excuse my language. Um. And then the second thing is the uh, battery is non-removable. The back does come off. The back does come off, but the battery is non-removable. So I more than likely um, will probably be getting another phone. What phone? I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. Um, I was thinking between the Moto G, or sorry, the, uh, hold on, one second, sorry. I was thinking between the LG Volt and the Boost Max, but my, right now my price range is kind of in the lower end, so I may go with the uh, LG Volt. The reason being, number one is, I'm a big LG fan. Last LG phone I had was the LG Venice on Boost Mobile, and I love that phone. The only thing about that phone I did not like was there was no LED notification light, but other than that, I love that phone. The other little thing on the um, Motorola Moto G that I'm not that I'm not really liking, like I like it, I'm glad that it's there, but it's not, it doesn't do what I wanted it to do, is the LED notification light, it only blinks one color, and that's like a white color. Um, I like the uh, multicolor notifications, so... Um, I'm thinking somewhere between the end of June, beginning of July, I'll have a new phone and I will do an unboxing for that, which is another reason why I'm on here. Right now I currently have more than, I have like three cameras, but one's packed over there somewhere, one's packed away. Um, I currently also have this one, which I've been doing most of my videos on, which is a Kodak. It's the Easy Share um, M340, and then I got this one for Christmas. Which is the um, Vivitar? You know, I more than likely will probably be using this one um, until I can get another camera. I might put the Kodak in retirement. I mean, this has been a, an awesome camera. It has. It's been a great camera. It's worked well. It's done its thing. But I think it's about time for me to put this old boy in retirement, you know what I'm saying? Um, I also have another Vivitar 5 megapixel camera somewhere, I think it's that over there, but I can't remember. Um, that one does do good pictures, but it, it does do video, but it does not have sound to it. This one has great audio, but it's supposed to be 1080p HD and it looks kind of grainy, but that's okay. Anyhow, um, back to what I was saying. If I do get the LG Volt, um, I'll definitely do an unboxing for that. 
probably the, yeah, it'll be the day that I get it. I'll do the overnight shipping, so it'll probably cost about 185, 184 with the shipping. Um, that's five dollars extra for expended overnight shipping. So that one, uh, I'll probably get, like I said, the overnight shipping for that. And I definitely, after probably having it for about two weeks, maybe maybe a week, I'll do a review for you guys. I did do a review on the LG, or sorry, the Motorola G, the Moto G, but I did not come out right. And unfortunately, at that time, I could not, I had one of the little tiny micro SD cards, which I have multiple of. Um, and I put it in the expander, you know, little card expansion, and it wouldn't take to the computer, so I didn't do it. It's been like three months since I've got the Moto G, so I figured, you know, why not go and try to do something different. You know, not just that, but the LG Bolt is also a 4G LTE phone. Um, it's 4G LTE and 3G LTE. It's an enhanced LTE. Uh, enhanced LTE, sorry. It's got a, like I said, a 4.7 inch QHD display, uh, 8 megapixel rear camera that does shoot in 1080p video. It has dual speakers on the bottom, which I like. That's pretty sweet, actually. It has an IR blaster on the top. Has a uh, 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Has a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Light proximity sensor. It has a LED notification. Um, light up home button, which is it's pretty neat. Um, it's got voice mate, Q slide 2.0, um, quick remote. It's got all kinds of sweet ass features. I personally, if I do get a phone, I'm gonna more than likely probably go with the Volt. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still thinking rather between the Volt or the um, Boost Max. I was gonna try to get the S5. But, with that being like a $600 phone that's on my price range, right now I'm currently paying on something. I will be doing an unboxing for it eventually. I can't promise that it's going to be here this month, but it is a pretty, it will be a pretty big unboxing. There's all kinds of them all over the internet, so it's not going to be something like, oh my god, that's awesome, you know. But it, I'm going to do an unboxing anyway for you guys, my subscribers. Please like, comment, rate, subscribe. Leave me some love down below. I'll get back to you with anybody, pos anybody that I possibly can. Um, I try to answer everyone's questions. And uh, let me know what phone I should get between the LG, the LG Volt and the Boost Max. I'm personally thinking since the Volt's more in my price range, probably the Volt, but... Anyway, guys, leave the love down below. Let me know. And uh, this has been Big C6. I'm out. Peace.